at the Every Woman Clinic, we see a lot of patients coming with the problem of inability to conceive or infertility. Almost 10 to 15 percent of couples today are unable to conceive after one year of marriage. When we carry out the basic investigations, we find that in some cases, the husband has either a poor sperm count, poor motility or almost even absent sperms in some cases. When we check the woman, sometimes there are tubal blocks, she has problems such as fibroids, endometriosis, polycystic ovarian syndrome, septum within the uterus, intrauterine adhesions, etc. For a lot of infertility problems, simple medication, intrauterine insemination works. But if all these fail, a woman may require in vitro fertilization or IVF. One of the specialized techniques and advancements of IVF is the ICSI procedure, which is the intracytoplasmic sperm injection. This is specially meant for patients whose husbands have a low sperm count or absent sperms. In men with low sperm counts, an IVF procedure does not result in fertilization and so the procedure is specialized to this particular case. For example, the woman is given a lot of injections to make a number of eggs. So for 8 to 10 days she is given injections, 8 to 10 eggs are produced. These eggs are then removed with the help of sonography. This procedure is done under anesthesia. It's a short procedure of about 5 to 10 minutes. Then the husband's semen sample is collected if he has some sperms in the semen sample. These sperms are picked up one by one by a special machine called the micromanipulator and they are injected individually one sperm into each egg and this procedure is done for as many eggs as there are. If the man has zero sperms, then his hormone tests are done. If his FSH level is normal, we can expect to get sperms on a testicular biopsy because the problem is probably a block in the tubules where the sperms come out from or there may be even early testicular failure. Even in these patients, by testicular biopsy, which is done just with a tiny needle, we are able to get sperms. And these sperms are injected in a similar fashion into the eggs of the wife and fertilization occurs and embryos are formed. After two days in the laboratory, you can actually see that life has come into these eggs. They have developed into six, eight, ten cell embryos. And these embryos are then picked up and transferred with the help of a tiny tube into the womb of the woman. This embryo transfer is a painless procedure, just takes about five to ten minutes and the woman can go home in an hour, no hospitalization is required. The ICSI procedure today is a standard procedure at the IVF center in Leelavati Hospital which is affiliated with the Every Woman Clinic. We have done thousands of cases of ICSI over the last 12 years with excellent results. So in well-selected cases, ICSI is the treatment of choice, particularly for male factor infertility and for IVF failures in patients with women's cause of infertility.